Okay, we're gonna give everybody a chance to load in. It can take a, a few minutes to arrive. So we're gonna uh, just, you know, like let everybody give a chance to load in. It's like the alt space that we're gonna get stuck in traffic. Hey, Dorian, thanks for making it. Didn't see you on the yeah, one here. Yeah, oh yeah, on. I thought we were supposed to come yeah. straight here. <laughs> no, no, we start out at the uh, at, this, um, at the Ravenhill Forum, and uh, you know we can do the whole talent effect that flies in, picks everybody up, make a quick announcement and stuff. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Looks like we got everybody basically in here. Uh, how many of you have never flown in all space before? Let me see a show of hands or emojis or anything like that. All right. So we got more than a few. Of you. That's good. Let's get the first group in here. What you want to do, and if you miss these instructions, remember I'm happy to go over them again because I tend to move kind of quick with it. But if you press that blue and white triangle button in your lower left, you're going to notice that your main menu opens up in front of you. That's why they call it the main menu button. Now on the bottom there, you're going to see all these tabs there. And one of them looks like a cogwheel down toward the right hand side, and it says settings. If you press on that, you're going to see all these categories on the left hand side. The third category down says input. And if you press on input, you're going to see at the very top center panel the word fly. Next to that will be a white circle. If you press on that white circle, it's going to toggle to blue and you'll be ready to go. So now all you have to do is press that close button in the lower right. That's the X with the circle around it. And then now all you do, well, now that you can see again, hey, everybody, is you just move forward and look up. And you're going to go right up into the air. Oh, cool. All right, looks like a lot of you got it. Those are did, and I'm happy to go over, over it again. If you're on a two-handed oh, controller, you can squeeze your left trigger, and this will cause you to accelerate. Now, if you can, it takes a while to get used to it because you steer with your head, right? So you can fly out to this door here, and when you go through these, you can go through these red rings. Ooh, how do we and do? Up to the tower do do? there where you learn right, to So go to input, and settings, fast flight. And uh, if you want settings, to get into the style, you can take a input, hovercraft. Input, fly. Turn gonna, on flying. Two that are floating in the air, you have the blue light coming out. Those are teleporters that lead Setting. to other worlds and experiences. How do I do the one it? that's on the landing port pad toward the Wait, um, there. I'm actually still learning. Where Fury's taking off now. You're going to see inside there is a red launch button. Oh, if you okay. point at it uh, and squeeze the your and release your trigger really quickly, your uh, one of the ships will attach to you. There's a limit of three oh, in the air right I now see. at one time. And if anybody has any questions, I'll be in the office uh, huh. in here and take them. How do, how do I fly? I see. Yeah. I got it. Too weird. Oh, you guys were talking the entire time. I'm sorry about anything. <laughs> All right, oh, no, uh, you got, press got, that blue, blue and white triangle button, okay, or just do that. Okay, that's cool, too. All right, uh, so did anybody miss those instructions? like me to go over them again? I have All right, no cool. idea what, how to fly, but I guess I am now. So you, yeah, you're flying right now. You steer with your head, and uh, what you want to do is go through those rings to get used to it, and once you get to the tower, you'll learn type of teleportation that feels like fast flight. You could also take one of these hovercrafts up if you want. Uh, the two that are floating in the air with the blue lights coming out are teleporters to other worlds, but the one that's on the landing pad toward the end of the runway by the wall, if you walk inside that open door, there's a red launch button, and if the sign says available, you can take one of these up and fly those around. Okay? So, All right. What don't you understand? You start to say trigger. Do you want to don't under I'm guessing? Because yes. It seems yes. like I'm going faster. You are. Okay. Like yes. Because when I, yeah. when the hovercraft uh, came in, I lagged my whole entire game. And okay. Okay, uh, that can be your device if you have too many apps installed. You don't have a lot of free memory. That can be one thing. The space there that the, we went to at the beginning is performant though, so it's not it's not us. Um, or all space. But yeah, that can happen. It's always a good idea before you come in all space to restart your headset and clear the memory out too. You have a question there, uh, default Dan? What's up? Um, how do we get the ships to fly? I click to launch, but nothing will happen. Okay, you actually you press the launch button. All right, so what you do is you aim at the launch button, and you'll see you have a spinning target on it. And if you squeeze and release the trigger one time quickly, one will attach to you. If it doesn't take the first time, just like a, just a gentle, quick squeeze, and that should do it. You know, okay, so thank you. And there's, no, right. there's nothing extra. It's just you flying with the, the ship on you. So. Oh, wait, wait to make it sound special there, Fury. Yeah. Oh, well, it's, <laughs> it's extremely special, but, you know, All right. it's not going to propel itself, that's all I'm saying. Let's see. Okay, so uh, if anybody has any questions, just uh, let me know and uh, we'll go over that again. You have a question there, McFever? What's up? McFever? I hope I'm saying that right. McFever. Oh, cool. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, sounds like some kind of. Is this like for anything? Does it get you somewhere faster or just for fun? Uh, well, some worlds can be pretty large. I see the hand going up there, Austin. If you have a question, you can just unmute yourself and ask. You know, that's one way to do it. Uh, otherwise, we can guess what it is, but first let me answer uh, McFever's question. Um, essentially, it's a way to get around all space. You know, some worlds you could fly in, um, all worlds you can teleport in, basically, unless they've done a couple of things to disable it. Um, but yeah, some of these worlds can be really large and, you know, have like different places that are high up to get to. And I think it pays if you're new, especially uh, to have, you know, to know how to get around. And so, you know, that's what we do. We teach people how to fly and, 
you know, kind of teleport around and, you know, and the ships are just to make it fun. Yeah, anyway, some worlds are very big okay. and it's, yes. it's useful information mm -hmm. and then teleporting yeah, is extremely family. useful too. So yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. just get in yeah. your bearing. Thanks. Okay. Looks like awesome. Didn't want to wait around. Um, all right. So does anybody have any questions? About all space, about your controls, about flying, about anything like that? Okay. All right. No questions? All right, cool. We'll be around here for a few minutes to take them if you come up with anything. Uh, other than that, just enjoy the space and get used to flying and get used to the teleporting uh, and have fun with the ships. That's basically it. Anyway, there's also the flight tool if anyone would like to learn how to, you know, operate that. I see Sean already has I'd, a handle on it. I'd like to know, how do you win at all space? This is well, the game. <laughs> Boring system that I'm aware of. Yeah, I think if you make friends, that's possibly possibly a way of winning. But I, in that way, I don't think it's a game. I think it's a shared experience. You know. So thanks for asking that loaded question. Appreciate it. <laughs> Why I'm on camera and has to answer in specific ways. You do you understand? Okay. All right. So uh, does anybody have a question? Anybody missed those instructions? I mean, What's that, Hummingbird? Raven. I love it when you go over and talk to Raven. Yes, yeah. Well, I'm really actually speaking to YouTube. For those of you who don't know, the, that's our YouTube camera right in the corner there. You know, so this is going on on YouTube. But if you want to feel all space famous, just, you know, stand in front of Raven on there and be like, hey, YouTube, how you doing? Yeah, you can do that. That's cool. All right. Uh, did anybody miss those instructions? Want me to go over them again? Or anybody has any questions whatsoever? Just, just let me know. You know, I see Sean not in there. But, all right. And uh, so if everyone's good, that's cool. You know, just let me know if you have any questions. No? Yeah. Okay. What's up? Heard somebody say, yeah. Oh, no, it's you. Oh, you're talking to that real world again. Pesky real world. Okay. So, so we've covered flying. <laughs> That's a myth, flying. and everybody knows it. Wait, what did you say? We've covered, fly, we've, covered, we've covered basic flying. We've covered accelerated flying. Have we covered the flight pen? No, we have not. Is anybody uh, on a two-handed controller? Because it only works on a two-handed controller. So if you're an Oculus Go, you're kind of stuck on casual speed. But if anybody would like to use the flight tool, just uh, let me know, and I'm happy to go over that too. Anybody want to learn that? See a hand go up yeah. there. All right. Uh, so what you want to do is to get the flight tool in front of you, you're going to want to open your blue and white triangle button. And when you press on that, you're going to see a settings cogwheel on the lower right. You press on that settings cogwheel, and you have all these categories on the left-hand side. About halfway down, you're going to see a category that says items. And when you click on that, center panel, you're going to see the word flight tool. And next to the word flight tool is the word spawn. When you press spawn, your menu will disappear uh, and the flight tool will appear in front of you. Be aware, other people can like grab that flight tool away from you. So like sometimes you can Sterling steal it. Sterling has it. Okay. Yes, I see. It. Yeah, a few of them got it. Um, yeah. If you are, you're not seeing the category or? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got it right. I spawned it right here. Yeah, so if you point at it, you'll see your pointer go on it. And if you squeeze the grab button, it's going to come to your hand. All right, there you go. Now you can move it to either hand, depending on what's comfortable for you. Um, I like to keep it in the left hand because this way you can, you know, spin it around and just by just as some, so everyone's aware, but as soon as you enter the space, you sign the waiver. Okay, just so you know. All right. <laughs> right. And you'll find out so why. I that. This, this <laughs> is if, this if is you, important. If you, squeeze, I guess. If, you're, if you squeeze the index finger of the controller, that your the pen is in. So if you're holding the flight tool in your right hand, it'll be your right trigger. Your left hand, it'll be your left trigger. You can draw lines with it. Small, short lines will move you slowly in that direction. This is useful for controlled actions and world building um, and just, you know, moving around with a, you know, fine tooth control. But the longer the line, the faster you're going to go. So if you draw, like, if you were to draw a long line straight up, you'd bang your head into the ceiling, which is why you signed the waiver, you know, or what just happened to Sean there. Fall out of himself out the window oh, and it's now hurled himself go, in the lower yeah. orbit. You know, yeah. So that can be a, that can be a problem. But uh, it's a little bit to get used to it because this, unlike regular flying, you don't steer this with your head. Um, you actually steer with your hand. Uh, and that can be you know, difficult to get used to. So what you could do is go up through those red rings again, or you can actually go into one of the talent ships and use your flight tool to fly it. Um, the only thing is if you go really fast in a talent, you're actually gonna experience turbulence. The entire ship will shake. You know, That's as, actually my as favorite. It comes to regrow. John. That sounds it. exciting when that happens. It is. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Sean's got a handle. Yeah, it is actually, and it's it's a pretty cool effect, you know, because yeah. uh, it actually does. It feels a little bit like turbulence, and it kind of adds to the sensation of speed. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody want to try it? Oh uh, yeah, go <laughs> ahead and give it a you know give it a shot. But uh, does uh, yeah anybody have any questions beyond that yeah. about the flight tool or about flying or teleportation and that's it. What about the one yeah. where you go over to the mountain real quick? 
Uh, yeah, we call that zip lining. That's a type of teleportation that feels like fast flight. And if you'd like me to go over those settings, I'm happy to do it. You know, just let me know. You know. And oh yeah, no, the word about the flight tool, you can spawn more than one of them, but try to keep it so that it's no more than two. If you hold a flight tool in both hands, you're able to go like super fast by drawing two lines out like that. And you'd be able to like, you know, take off really fast that way, you know. And uh, it can make you feel a little sick, the motion, uh, but if you're seat sitting down, if you're having a seated experience, it tends to be a little bit more comfortable. But if you're standing up and then you, you start flying around with the flight tool, it can make you a little dizzy, you know, so be aware of that if you are prone to that. Yeah. Quick tip too, if you experience dizziness in VR at any time, you can always uh, hold up your hand to your face like this. And if you look at your hand, the dizziness will pass. And as soon as it passes, slowly take your hand away and take in the world around you. That can make that, you know, uh, go away pretty quick. All right. Now, does anybody have any questions? You said any something about all, accelerated mm -hmm. flying. Yeah, yeah, you can use two flight tools to do this. You want to keep the number of flight tools in the space to a minimum. But if you have uh, two flight tools, they have one in each hand. So if you were to make another one by going into settings menu and going into items and making another flight tool, you can grab one flight tool in each hand. And when you do that, you can draw two lines out in a straight line, and you're going to take off really quickly in the direction that you draw. You know, so go ahead and give How it a try. How do you zipline? How do you zipline? Uh, to zipline, this is, if you're on a single-handed controller like it appears you are, this is probably one of the best ways to get around in all space. The way you do this is that you uh, change two settings in your menu, and I can walk you through those, okay? What you do is you open up your blue and white triangle menu, and when you do, you, uh, you're you going to see your settings cogwheel, and under your settings cogwheel on the left-hand side, you're going to see two, there's two categories we're interested in. The first one is comfort, and when you click on comfort, you're going to see there's a category there called uh, teleport transition, and you're going to want to set that to dash. The options are blink, instant, and dash, but for, to get this effect, you want to be set to dash. And as soon as you got it in dash, let me know. I got it. You good? All right, cool. Next category is input. So you want to change in input, you're going to see it down toward the bottom center panel, you're going to have teleport aiming. Now, in all space, there's two ways to teleport. You can arc teleport, which is like a grappling hook. This is great to get you up on the high places, like atop some buildings and things like that. But for this effect, you should set yourself to line. All right, so now you're in what's called a line dash teleport, but we call it zip lining. All right, now what you do is you're going to close your menu by pressing the close and exit the circle around it. Now, if you're on a one-handed controller, because uh, if you're on a two-handed controller, your teleport is in both hands at all times, but on a one-handed controller, you have to put yourself in teleport mode. And the way you do this is next to your microphone icon, you're going to see there's a, uh, an icon of a person walking, right? And when you click on it, it's going to change it into somebody that's like leaping or like zip or, or actually, yeah, leaping. It's like the arc symbol. Uh, and now you'll be in teleport mode when you do that. Now, all you do is turn around and face the outside of the store here and hold down, if you're on a one-handed controller, hold down your forward button, right? Or, and if you're on a two-handed control, hold down your teleport button and aim above those trees at the top of that hill, all right? And then let go of the button. And as soon as you let go of the button, that forward button there or your teleport button, you're going to take off really fast up into the top of the mountain there. And it's going to be called that. I didn't know that. Yeah, sure. Now you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool stuff. Somebody got it. Come right here. Yeah, uh, all right. Are, can you put yourself in some teleport person? mode? Uh, I don't know what's yeah. happening right now. Yeah. Next to the microphone icon, uh, what do you see? Do you see a person walking or do you see like a leaping arc symbol? Next to the microphone button? Yeah, next to the microphone button, uh, at the top of the triangle button, there's a microphone well, yo, icon, and next to that is, is your teleport or your walk mode. No, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. You see that? You I don't up? see that. Next to right, the... What's in front of you right now? The, um, like the little circle of yeah, stuff. This is for learning. All right, so and all the... those circles on the lower left side, right? You see the blue and white triangle? Yeah. All right, so right above that, you see like a microphone? Mm -hmm. Like a and right next to that microphone icon, to the right of that, what do you say? An emoji button. Yeah, an emoji button? Uh-oh. Yeah. They've changed the interface. Like oh, no. Yeah, I think. I'm like There's this a microphone okay. as as and then an emoji, and then a person, I guess, a dot with a little triangle. Okay, top, yeah, that's your from top top point. Uh, weird. Okay, so I'm looking here now. You're, what device are you on? Oscar? Oculus Quest. Same oh, way. you had one hand down. I'm thinking you're on a go this entire time. All right. On no. a two-handed device, you, you had one hand down, so I'm like, this guy's on a go, and I'm giving you go instructions. Okay. On a two-handed <laughs> controller, next to your thumbsticks, you have two raised up buttons, right? Now, one button, that, that, the two raised up buttons, the top button on both controllers, if you aim either one of them and press down at the four, you're going to see a circle appear. 
right? That is your teleport target, right? Yeah. So uh, what you want to do is if you press down the teleport button, either the right one or the left one, and aim above those trees, holding it down, as soon as you let go, you're going to take off really fast at the top of that mountain. Try not to smack on one of those talons that's in the air, because that can be painful with those turbines, and, you know, be handful of right. There it goes. How do I fly one of them? Um, when you, what happens is there's a limit of three right now that can go in the air at one time for performance, but then you'll notice that there are three uh, above uh, that are outside right now. Um, yeah. Two that are in the air that the blue lights coming out are teleporters that lead to other worlds. The one that you want to use is at the end of the runway next to that wall. You'll see one's landed on the pad there with the door is open in the back. If you walk into it, you're going to see a red launch button inside. And if you aim your pointer that's coming out of your hand at the target, and squeeze it, you'll see it starts to spin. The target will start to spin on the launch button. Yeah. If you squeeze and release your, your controller on that launch button quickly, one of them will attach to you. And it's uh, engine noise and spinning turbines. It's a lot of fun. It pays to be in flight mode, because if you're not in you're flight mode and you come off the landing pad, you'll just be mowing the lawn, which is nice, because that's how, how we keep the lawn, you know, so close to cut to the ground like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, you're going to need to be in flight mode. Yeah. What's that? Um, yeah. Maxwell, your, your sound is wait, very wait, low. Wait. I'm having trouble understanding. Uh, raise the mic volume a little bit. Just point the mic volume really and raise it up a little. Come on, click it. Uh, do you know how to okay, fly a little mind. bit? Okay, let's just do... Uh, what device yeah. are you on? Away from him, though. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's right there. <laughs> All right, you've got two oh, no, options. Like One, you can slowly. squeeze your left trigger button, and Somebody this will cause you to accelerate or go faster. You have that speed. That'll cause you to go quicker. Um, oh, no. Also, you can oh, use the flight tool, no all right, which you see, you'll see uh, Sir Sean oh, okay, is using okay, here. Okay, okay, He's got two flight tools here, yeah, right? It, it, it and you see him zipping around like that? It's going so fast. Yeah, all right. Now, to make a flight tool, uh, what you want to do is you want to open the okay. blue light triangle button, and that'll open your main menu. Oh, oh, and when you press on that, okay. you're going to notice that you're, uh, you're on, you have a settings icon, okay. and when you press on the settings okay. icon, okay. you're going to have the um, okay. on the left-hand side all these categories that appear. One of those categories is item. If you press on items, yeah, you're going to see flight tool right there in the word spawn. Oh, when you press spawn, the menu is going to disappear and the flight tool is going to appear right in front of you. And she just got. Wait, there's no items, though. There's no items. Yeah, you're on an Oculus Go, yes? Yes. All right, uh, this isn't available to the Oculus Go, unfortunately. Um, I'm hoping it will become so sometime in the future, but right now this is just for the controllers. Well, you wait up, you can sign the waiver. Uh oh. That's a liability. What did you say now? I can't fly that thing out there. Oh, yes. The Talon, you can use that on any device. So if you want to go, you can absolutely fly it. Uh, what you do is do you see that? the one that's on the landing pad that's landed with the door open. All right. The other two are teleporters yeah. to other worlds and experience. But the one that's landed on the landing pad with the open door, if you walk inside and take, take your pointer, you'll see a lion's coming out of your hand. And you aim the pointer down toward that launch button. If you squeeze and release your trigger quickly, one will attach to you. So you look for the launch button inside, aim at it, squeeze and release your trigger. And okay, I didn't you. see the launch button in there, but I'll go check again. Okay, uh, actually, wait, hang on. Sometimes what can happen uh, is there's server lag when the space is busy or during all space is busy as time, so it can take a while to load in. If you go back now and don't see it, you may have to restart your device to clear out the memory. Sometimes we get somebody in here, uh, so they're usually on an Oculus Go, and they don't see the button, and when they restart the device, they come back and they can see it. So it, you okay, know, I'll, you I'll, I'll check again. And I'll, I'll check mm -hmm. again and give that a shot. Awesome, cool. All right, Very thanks. Good. All right, nice. Give it a shot. All right, what's all that about outside? Which here you go? Well, I'm good. right here. I'm right oh, here. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm right here. What happened? Can't start. The campfire portal. Uh, yeah. Apparently there was an issue with people accessing the campfire portal, so I just figured I'd pop them over there real quick. Oh, uh, cool. So what's wrong with the campfire portal? It's not working. I don't know. They couldn't seem to trigger it. I haven't tried it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try yeah. it just for the heck of it. <laughs> Maybe they were just trying to uh, get you to go to the campfire and leave the space. It's possible too. Yeah, it might have been a joke. Me. It's no. too much. Oh, there it is. Trouble. There it is. It, there was a <laughs> delay on it, Michael. There was a delay on it. A I delay, what do you mean? It, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and then it popped up. So. Yeah, I think it's a, there's a heavy server load right now. We had a few people who couldn't mm -hmm. see the launch button. Too. So that's uh, yeah. very possible. All right. Uh, anybody have any questions at all? We still have a few minutes left. Any questions? Could also be the number of flight tools. Everybody's doing like double flight tools today. Yeah, that can like weigh, weigh things down a lot. Yeah. Well, why was there <laughs> why? just a random person in the corner over there? That is not a random person. That is actually our YouTube camera. 
Uh, whenever we have a good episode, uh, these will, episodes will go out on YouTube. So if you want to feel all space famous, just wave at the camera and be like, hey, YouTube, how's it going? YouTube, this is, uh, this is Oz Terra, and he's going to be all space famous. There you go. Just wave at hey, YouTube, I'm how's it going? But if this ends up being usable, it'll be out on YouTube in, a, in about a week or so. And we're a little bit behind because we're working on another event. Uh, you know, it's coming all space soon. And uh, yeah, that kind of slowed down the, the, the video editing that we can do. You know? But yeah, that's our camera. Looks like a person, though. I can see why a lot of people think that. She has a, a person kind of a that never menacing energy to her sometimes. Menacing? You thought it menacing. It's right. like the friendliest computer on the planet. It's just, I thought you know, it was a real person. A, you, you know what, though? Time. <laughs> robot, <laughs> Fury is a robot. I think that's offensive. You're a robot, too. You know, you look a little intimidating, too. I have people Listen, asking me, how come you've got these people can... floating up in the back of the event? If we had, like, a stage can... area. <sighs> you don't remember that? What are you talking about? The time you were scaring the guests? You remember that? Oh, me? No. Yeah. Of course not. <laughs> we actually had in one of our events, I'm standing on a stage and we get to the point in, in the, in the uh, presentation where we open up the floor for questions. And one of the first questions is, how come you have all these robots floating around the back of the room? It's scary. Oh, That's what they said. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to pick on the camera, Fury, I think you need to look in a mirror. <laughs> okay. well, let's let's see, see. If anybody can pick on the uh, the camera, it's me. That's all. I'm okay, saying. that's I'm true. Sure. How do you what, uh, Fury? Put them, put them away. Oh, how do you put them away? Uh, yeah. Good question. Uh, what you want to do is, if you point your pointer at the pen, you're going to see two buttons appear below it. All right. One of them okay. is an X, and that'll make the uh, that'll actually delete the pen and it'll make it go away. The other one is a pin. So sometimes if you want to leave your pen behind, like say you want to leave it in one of these coffee mugs, it's like a stirrer, you can do that. Um, otherwise, if it's blue, it's going to follow you around. So as you move, the pen will move. Yeah. So you can uh, leave them behind by pressing that uh, unpin button, or you can press the X. Now, you don't have to physically touch it. When your hand gets near, it'll turn it into this crayon. They say it's a pointer. I say it was a crayon. Um, but if you, uh, you could actually point your pointer at it, too, from a distance. So what's going on there, Tyson? You got a question? Yeah, I just restarted my game. There's no launch button again. Still There's no there. launch button again. Okay, uh, so you restarted the headset completely or just the, just the app? Just the game. Okay, yeah, you're going to need to, restart, to clear out the temporary memory in your headset. You have to restart the entire headset. And the way to do this is that center button that's on the top of it. If you press and hold that for about four seconds, you're going to see three buttons appear in the air in front of you. One of them yeah. will be the restart button, and when you press that, that will clear out all the temporary files, and that should take care of it. You know, we're okay, still gonna be I'll give, it's one I'll give that a shot. All right, all right cool. Uh, yeah, it's a good idea to do that every time you come in all space. What'd you say, Astara? Uh, how do you get the pens? Like, how do you get the pens? Uh, what you want to do is you press the blue and white triangle button in your lower left. And when you do, you're going to see all these tabs on the bottom. You're going to want to go to the settings tab, the cogwheel looking one. And on yeah. the left hand side, about halfway down, you're going to see the word items. Oh. All right there, you're going to see the word flight tool at the top center. And next to the word flight tool, you're going to see the word spawn. And now to close your menu when you press spawn and one should appear in front of you. There you go. Now if you point at it and squeeze the grip button, it'll come to your hand. There you go. Now sign the waiver. Wait, wait, stop, stop. This is very important. Liability. Sign the waiver. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, now what you do is if you squeeze the trigger button and draw the lines with it, if you draw a short line, you'll move very slowly in that direction. And that's good for world building and delicate motions like that. But if you draw a long line straight up, you'll bash your head into the ceiling, and that's why you signed the waiver. Yeah. <laughs> there we are. All right, cool. All right. Uh, so does uh, anybody have any more questions? I don't know. Right here. What's up, Maxwell? This isn't really important, but what type of, like, what do you play on? What do I play on? Oh, well, that's important to me. <laughs> um, I used, uh, I started out on an Oculus Go. I was on that for about 10 months or so. And then I switched over to a Quest. I was one of the first Quest users in all space. Um, and uh, yeah, been on the Quest since. Really enjoy it. Yeah. Like both devices though. What's up, Sam? You got a question? Yeah. Um... Okay. Bye. All right. Bye, Maxwell. Nice seeing you. All right. What, what's your question, Sam? Trying to get into Talon, and I didn't see any like launch button, a red button. We were trying to get inside the Talon, and you what? No, I, I can see the launch button. You didn't yeah, see the launch button. All right, uh, this seems to be happening a lot on the Oculus Go occasionally. If your memory is not cleared out 
and you have like a lot of apps and you a lot of temporary, if you haven't restarted your device recently, you may need to restart it. And the way you do this is to press down on that center button on the top of your headset and you press and hold that for about four seconds. And when you press and hold that right. for about four seconds, you're gonna see three buttons appear in the air in front of you. One will be a restart button. And if you press that restart button, it, uh, you know, it'll clear out all the temporary files and you can come back and try again. All right, thank you. All right, and give that a shot. Yeah, sometimes that can happen where the launch button does not load, unfortunately. Is this where you always go to get a Talon? Uh, uh, right now, there are no other right. Talons in all space except for our events at the moment. Nobody else is using it, so yeah. Uh, but you can come back anytime. Uh, there's instructions on the wall here on how to make a uh, you know, favorite or bookmark, or if you like, I can walk you through it. This way you can return to this world anytime you want. Okay. You can yeah. bring your friends, fly around stuff. What you can do is you press that blue and white triangle button on your left. You stop doing that when you're like, ramming into me. That's like not cool. It's, <laughs> making, you know, it's not comfortable. Just don't. <laughs> press that blue and white triangle button on your lower left. You know. Well, yeah, you know what? You deal with it for a few minutes, and it's like, all right, come on. Enough. I, I understand you're having fun. But, you know, you press that blue and white triangle button there, and you press yeah. that, um, let's see, uh, under the settings cogwheel. At the very top, you're going to see where it says general, and you're going to see something called enable world's beta. Right. If yes. that's hot, if that's in on blue, you're ready to go. So now uh, you'll close the menu and now reopen the menu again. And now you'll see a new tab that wasn't there before called worlds. When you click on worlds, you're going to see at the very top of this popular and where it says popular. This is not like the most popular world in all space ever. This is just what's popular right now. It shows you where people are. So if you're in a campfire and nobody's yeah. there and you're like, where is everybody? If you open up that worlds tab and go to popular, you'll see where everybody is. So right now, if you go to popular, you're going to see that at the Ravenhall Flight Academy, there's 11 people there. Um, now, if you point at it, you're going to see a choice to enter it, which is weird because we're already here. But if you press uh, info, you're going to see uh, there is a option to make a favorite. And now that it's a favorite, anytime you go, go into your worlds button, you can go to favorites and you'll be able to come here anytime you want. Nice. All right. So there you go. And that's how you do that. Okay, everybody, we are about out of time. So if nobody has any more questions, I'm going to be headed out. Okay. So we can questions. only fly, though, when you're here. No, no. The world is open 24 hours a day. You can come here anytime you want, you know, and uh, the, the talents are always available. So anytime yeah, you want to come and fly, if you're in a campfire and you say, hey, you can fly ships in here, and your friend goes, no way, that's not possible. You go, yeah, it is. And then you take them to this world, you know, and even if nobody's here, you guys can just fly around. You know, uh, okay. I do that too. Sometimes I'll come in and fly around. Yeah, so it's uh, it's not just during our events. Flight is enabled in in a lot of worlds. I'd say at least half of them. So yeah, like but he wants to know about flying the talents. But the talents are the talents are only here. That's the only place. Yeah, for now. You know, they got a logo on the side. You know, so it's like you know, they got like the branding to consider. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we might come out with them. That's publicly available. You know, we've making we were actually working on a lot of other vehicles too. You know, so that's uh, it's gonna be fun. All right, everybody, I'm going to head on out. I'll see you all next time. Humber, are you going to the, uh, the set Yes, there? I am. All right, yes. cool. Thank we'll you. See you there. All right, bye, guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for your help, Dorian. Right, really you. appreciate it. Yeah, see no problem,